Welcome back. The number of existing home sales fell again last month in Southwest Florida, which could either suggest the real estate market is losing momentum or the opposite. The market's reaching a point of equilibrium. So is it good news or bad news for buyers and sellers? To get the answer to those questions, Wake News real estate expert Denny Grimes in with us today. Good morning. Good morning. Is this good news or is this bad news? It really depends. But before we get into that, I'd like to just say happy anniversary because it's a little known fact that our market's celebrating its third anniversary from the market hitting bottom. Good. Three our prices years. have been rising for three years, and so for the last three years, our market has been recovering, huh. rising prices, and then falling inventory. So the latest news report that's coming across not only locally but nationally about falling June home sales are comparing year over year. Right. Uh, is because there's just fewer for sale. And it's not really uh, a fact that the market's slowing down. We still have buyers stacked up like Atlanta Airport with planes landing. And mm -hmm. we still have buyers, but we have fewer homes for sale. So there's, the numbers are falling. So that's basically good news for our marketplace, bad news for buyers, a little bit better news for sellers. Well, we like, you know, prices on the way up. We like competition as well. And there's a, with a real change here, I guess, in the amount of inventory that's available. It's not that big. No, I brought a chart to show, and this is kind of shocking when you look at three segments, market segments of our market. Uh, we're going to look at Cape Coral. You can see that, you know, if you stepped into the marketplace and a buyer looked at homes available for sale under 300,000, they think they have 771 homes to choose from. But that's not a lot based on the volume of homes being sold because you can see that about 10 homes a day sell. Mm -hmm. So that's less than two months of inventory. That is so deep, deeply buried in what we call a seller's market because there's not a lot for sale. In fact, if you're looking for a home under 100000 there's less than one month. So you actually mm -hmm. have a better chance of getting a ticket for the opening ceremonies tonight <laughs> than you would find in a home for $100,000 or less in Cape Coral. Wow. Fort Myers is the same, you know, with basically half the, uh, half the uh, amount of sales, basically, but two and a half months of inventory. But the problem there is most of that inventory is older, about 40 years old on average if you want something under 150000 So, you know, the, the buyers are shifting to the Cape to find something new. Hmm. And the shocking thing about Estero, with not a lot of volume, there are only uh, 11 homes for sale in Estero under 150000 Huh. So, and there's, I think, 59 below 300. So the inventory is very, very low. Right, and that two months, three and a half months of inventory, I'm trying to remember what, what a healthy, normal market is, but it's around twice that, isn't it? It is. You, you know, between six and 10 or six and 12 months is what we call equilibrium. So that, that, that uh, under 300 market, and the, the price range has creeped up, so it used to be under 250, but under 300, under 300 now is basically in a seller's market territory. Mm -hmm. Now, that doesn't mean they can't have a wine and cheese party and all get together and decide the razor price, because the buyers will revolt. The buyers still control the market, mm -hmm. but, but the market has shifted, and the fact that these buyers are seeing across the country that the fact that sales are falling does not mean the market's becoming more favorable for them. It means quite often the they opposite. Need to, buyers need to change their strategy. Absolutely. They have to. It's, uh, shopping for home can't be a weekend sport anymore. We had somebody just email us the other day and said, hey, look, you know, get some homes together, and you know, my wife's in Atlanta, and then she'll fly down and take a look at them. Uh, no, they'll be gone. Mm -hmm. And then when we did a lookup for her criteria, the buyers also have to modify their criteria. Their criteria was so narrow, there was only one home on the market that would meet their criteria. Hmm. So they have to relax their grip a little bit. Well, this is all good news, I think, Denny. Thanks for coming in. Giving us My an update pleasure. on the market. Equilibrium. I like that. We'll be right back. Top stories, weather and traffic after this.